Hey guys, it's Sean. So first things first. First things first. I have something really important that I need to show all of you. Um, in the September issue of Cosmopolitan where Lucy Hale is on the cover and she looks awesome. Um, if you turn like 75% of the way through, there's this. Just cat, cats and abs. So yeah, that's all. So something's been really upsetting me lately, and it's mostly on Facebook and some on Twitter and Instagram, but really mostly just on Facebook that people are so upset that the Pumpkin Spice Latte was released in August. I do not understand why anyone would be angry about that. It's literally like being upset that someone gave you a gift before your birthday. It's dumb. Don't be mad about it. So basically, as a reaction to all the pumpkin spice haters that I've been seeing all over social media, I've decided to make a list of all the reasons that pumpkin season is a magical season. So let's just get started. Obviously, number one is the pumpkin spice latte. Obviously, if you didn't see that coming. Come on. Another reason that people have been so upset is because apparently pumpkin spice lattes at Starbucks aren't actually made with any real pumpkin, which is kind of gross, but also kind of miraculous when you think about it like think about other artificial flavors of things like artificial grape tastes like cough syrup so the fact that artificial pumpkin actually tastes like pumpkins should just be like chalked up as a win for science rather than people being angry about it okay so after pumpkin spice latte obviously it's still in the pumpkin food group we're gonna go with pumpkin desserts Pumpkin bread, pumpkin pie, pumpkin rolls, pumpkin cookies, pumpkin cupcakes, pumpkin bars, I'm sure those are a thing. Pumpkin brownies, is that a thing? Should be. Can you just put pumpkin puree in anything? Let's just be honest, any dessert is made better by putting pumpkin in it and then putting cream cheese icing on it. Because pumpkins and cream cheese go together because they're both awesome and awesome things stick together. Pumpkin season's the most magical season. I forgot pumpkin breakfast foods, pumpkin waffles, pumpkin pancakes. I'm sure you could make some sort of savory pumpkin omelet that would taste amazing. Donuts, pumpkin muffins, muffins pumpkin seeds, pumpkin flavored coffee, obviously, obviously. Oh my God, pumpkin ice cream. There are so many pumpkin things in the world. They're all so good. You didn't get excited about that. I don't know what you would get excited about. Probably a pit bull song. That's probably what you would get excited about. <laughs> So another reason pumpkin season is magical is because there are a shit ton of pumpkin related activities that you can do that you can only do in the fall because you need pumpkins to do them. Go to a pumpkin patch, pick a pumpkin, probably ride a hayride, have some apple cider. You wouldn't be doing any of those if there weren't pumpkins in the fall. You can paint a pumpkin, you can carve a pumpkin. If you're really good at carving pumpkins like me, they'll look like this or this. Actually, just kidding, I didn't make either of those pumpkins. But if you suck at doing crafts like I do, pumpkins can also be used as free therapy because you can stab the shit out of them and it's encouraged because it's festive. You can also, if you ever watch Little People Big World, they have a huge pumpkin catapult. That's fun. You can also go to a pumpkin patch and pick other things. You can pick a squash and eat it. Or you pick a gourd and paint it to look like a ghost. If you decided you wanted to be rebellious, you could smash someone's pumpkin. That's probably fun, but I don't encourage it because it's not very nice. You can make a jack-o'-lantern out of a watermelon. It just doesn't work. Those are pumpkin-related activities, and it has to be pumpkin season for them to have it. Oh, and also for making a jack-o'-lantern, you want it to be gross and look like it's puking. You can leave all the pumpkin goo in it and, like, tip it over. It's really gross. The slutty pumpkin. If anybody's ever watched How I Met Your Mother and there's two episodes dedicated to the slutty pumpkin, those episodes wouldn't exist if pumpkins didn't exist. So we gotta celebrate the season and celebrate the pumpkin. The slutty pumpkin is Katie Holmes. So basically, if you're a Katie Holmes fan in any capacity, if you like Dawson's Creek or like Scientology, you can thank all of that to the slutty pumpkin. Also, apparently, pumpkin pie pop tarts are a thing. So, apparently there's six reasons that I have to love pumpkin season. Just why do you hate pumpkins? I don't get it, why? Just think about what you're doing. <laughs> pumpkins are adorable too. We put faces on them because they have natural character. It's the great pumpkin, Charlie Brown. Enough said. Also, if you're of age, pumpkin beer is amazing. If you're not of age, don't listen to that reason. 
But seriously, pumpkins are the shit, and if you don't know that by now, then get out. Just kidding, don't get out, please subscribe. Pumpkin seeds are so awesome. First of all, they're fun to scoop out. I can scoop out some pumpkin goo like nobody's business. There are so many reasons to love pumpkins, and I'm just gonna assume that if you hate pumpkin spice coffee, then you hate everything pumpkin related. <laughs> Hashtag pumpkin rant. So thank you for watching me passionately talk about pumpkins for a while. Thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe, comment, follow me on Twitter, follow me on Instagram, um, read my blog, the links are all below, and share your favorite pumpkin memories this fall with me, hashtag pumpkin rant. I'll check it, and we'll all celebrate pumpkins together. I hope you like this video, and I hope that when you're done watching this, and you rest your weary head on your pillow, that a magical pumpkin fairy, that the great pumpkin, in fact, comes and sprinkles pumpkin seeds over your dreams. Okay, bye. I'm so sweaty, but pumpkins are awesome. My weave hurts. Let's all celebrate pumpkin season together in harmony. Let's all hold hands here on the subway because we've been stuck here in the dark for way too long.